Hey, want to beat procrastination uh, on a more consistent basis? Uh, I'm going to share one of my top hacks to help you do that. I'm Alan Brown, ADHD senior productivity coach, number one best-selling author and creator of the award-winning ADD Crusher video program for ADHD teens and adults. Um, and procrastination is probably the number one challenge for most of us ADHDers, but there are simple ways to beat it. For instance, uh, you can hack your brain by changing the way you view a task or a project and then open the door to action and follow through. And I'm going to share one such evidence-based brain hack that works wonders. Uh, but first, you may be wondering, you know, what exactly is a brain hack? Well, think about a computer hacker. This is someone who goes into someone else's system, throws a few switches, uh, and gets some kind of advantage or gain from doing so. Now, the system, uh, in the case of brain hacks, is, of course, your brain. And the switches you throw mostly have to do with how you view something or becoming acutely aware of something. Uh, or you can hack your brain from the outside with external inputs like diet changes, certain physical activities and body postures, et cetera. Now, the great thing about brain hacks, in addition to more focus, less procrastination, better time management, and more, is that you don't need to buy a new planner, download an app and learn how to use it, or hook up your brain to a machine. All right, so let's get to that procrastination beating brain hack. And I call it starting versus finishing to beat procrastination. Now, do you ever look at your to-do list and think, oh, geez, you know, I, I have to finish that project. Ugh. Now, this sentiment, this uh sentiment, is why so many of our biggest projects collect dust uh, uh, or have to be dealt with at the 11th hour in that frenzy, right, that we're all accustomed to. Well, finishing is really, really hard for us, right? Um, I actually wrote uh, the cover article for the summer 2018 issue of Attitude Magazine, and in it I shared a bunch of procrastination hacks and referred to a powerful insight from Dr. Neil Fiore's book, The Now Habit. I'll quote him. Never look at a big project and say, I have to finish that dang thing. Because just the thought of having to finish it is the surest way to invoke all the mental and physical chemistry that supports continued procrastination. Why is that? Because the more painful or perceived to be painful a given task is, the more we'll avoid it, right? We are human beings. We are discomfort avoiders. And the notion of having to finish something is almost always painful or threatening. Am I right? Uh, and two things happen when we anticipate the pain of having to finish. One, we will look for excuses and loopholes to avoid that task. We'll delay it further, justify why we don't have to start it right now. We'll lie to ourselves about how we're going to you know, get started on it first thing next week, or I'll come into the office over the weekend, or, or whatever it is. But just as important, it triggers a negative physiological cascade that further paralyzes us. Our cortisol shoots up, we get stressed, oxygen to our brain is reduced, and our mental clarity and focus just take a total nosedive. So is it any wonder when we look at a major to-do on our to-do list and think about having to finish it, that we just, we just wanna run for the hills? But there is a brain hack for that. Um, so think, think about this, when starting, a tricky or jumbo size to do. Flip the switch from, you know, I have to finish this thing to, you know what, actually, I just have to start it. I just have to start or restart it. I don't have to finish it, I just have to start it. If you just flip this little switch, you will feel much less stress and therefore much less resistance to going, getting to work on it. If you can, and you can also turbocharge this hack by scheduling a time. That's, I don't know if you can actually see it. We don't have great picture quality, but that's a little calendar and it says big project. Uh, schedule a time um, and put it in your calendar uh, because to do's that are assigned in a time and place of doing are 50% more likely to get done. Then, when that time comes for the doing, Set a timer for a, just a five-minute single-tasking session. I'm serious, just five minutes. And then just start, which is made super easy when you feel you're only committed to five minutes of arduous toil. 
Uh, and I'll bet you will keep going beyond those five minutes. So then it just repeat and repeat and repeat this little hack and this little exercise of calendarizing and then single tasking for just setting a timer for, for five minutes. And you can watch your to-do list shrink. Now in closing, too many of us ADDers uh, come to accept that we are incurable procrastinators, that we're hopelessly disorganized and ever late and ever running out of time. But we have more control over our thoughts and our actions than we've been led to believe. Most of what I share and teach private clients and my entire audience are classic brain hacks. You're just flipping a switch to change the way you view something and it accelerates your productivity. And this is why I always say the most powerful and underutilized app in the universe is right between our ears. Yes, even for us ADHDers. Point your unique brain in the right direction. Flip the right switches and whatever is in your way will be yours to crush. I hope you found this helpful. And P.S. Did you know that you are making your ADHD worse? Uh, you are. Get my free ebook. Five things you're doing every day that make your ADHD worse. And yes, you're doing all of them. Uh, you can grab that here at ADDcrusher.com. Uh, and that's all for now. I'll be back soon with another ADD, crusher, ADD crushing strategy. All right. Thanks so much for watching.